Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Let's turn this shit up. Turn it up. Like this. What day is it? It's May 5th. Oh, Cinco de Mayo. Now, I'm a little confused on Cinco de Mayo because my true Mexican friends, when I say true, is like they're still wearing sombreros and dancing around in little bean stuff. Uh, they, they say that Cinco de Mayo is not like a real fucking thing. That's true. Right? So that's what I hear. Yeah. But then on the other hand, a bunch of other Mexican people are celebrating it. So I'm confused on what it is. It says replace or recharge the batteries on keyboard. Do we have a battery? You don't think we should do that right now? <laughs> okay, good. Anyways, happy Cinco de Mayo regardless if you celebrate it and if you don't, fine. I understand, okay? Me, myself, I don't celebrate any of these fucking holidays. Uh, so it doesn't matter. Let's talk about something. Here's Sphinx. Very pretty. My dog's very pretty. I wish you could see her. Look at her. Look at that eye. Look at that eye. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a pretty girl. Okay. You're looking at my crotch, probably, which is rude. All right. <laughs> What's the water behind you? Look. Comes the other one. Oh, my God. Oh, my Such God. All right. Okay, can we start? Should I start all over? It's been a minute of nonsense. No. So we did Cinco de Mayo. We did Sphinx. We did Midas. Okay. As you... Um, as you engage in your daily activities, a few things will happen, okay? If you um, are goal-oriented, which means like you have your goal set up in front of you, then you have a direction to go. That's what goals are for. Midas move. Amy doesn't like Midas, I can tell. You have, I can tell. Uh, you have, if you have goals in your life, then you have direction, okay? Now, sometimes you think a goal has to be like a really big goal. Like, for example, I want to buy a Bentley. That's a big goal, right? But it's too big of a goal unless you're like, I'm going to buy a Bentley next month and you're close to it. What are some other things I'm talking about goal? Here are some goals. Watch this. I'm going to clean my room today. I'm going to clean my car today. So today, I'm going to clean my car. That's a goal for the day. It gives you direction, right? You can go there. Today, I'm going to work out. That's a goal. So now we have clean the car, work out. Today I'm going to read for 30 minutes. That's a goal. So now what do we have? We have clean the car, read, and work out. Today I'm going to reach out and uh, tell somebody I appreciate them. Can you watch Midas over there? Yeah. And he's not comfortable with it. See? So um, now you got your, your, your workout, you got your car that you want to get or clean it, and you also have um, reading something and reaching out and telling someone you appreciate them if you watch my last video blog. So what starts happening is your day starts to get filled with what? With a bunch of goals, which are what? Directions. I want you to think of goals as directions for the day. You understand that? And your whole day should have a bunch of little goals that are going to direct your action. Right? Now, if your day, all day, some people have one goal. It's like, oh, today, you know, I'm going to get off work at 5 and I'm going to go and party for Cinco de Mayo. Okay? And they miss the rest of the day. Like, what are you doing the rest of the day? What you want to do is you want to give direction to your to your time. Now, uh, one of my good friends, Vince Kelvin, if you know him, uh, shout out to Vince Kelvin, he told me what he does is he's like, okay, it took me 10 minutes to make breakfast today. He times himself. He goes, tomorrow, I'm going to do the same breakfast in eight minutes. So then he gets up and he tries to do it in eight minutes. And he tries to narrow it down to the shortest amount of time that he could spend making the same breakfast that he makes in 10 to 20 minutes. And he's like, you have no idea how much time I, I have after that. And I think that's a good exercise. Okay, shout out to Vince for that. But see the difference is that he takes a regular day and look at what he does. He, he fucks with the time like that and he, he's suddenly super efficient. A lot of times in your life you're suffering because you are just kind of letting your mind drift in different places without any real direction. So you want to have your whole day planned, as I've said before, but that's actually not the main part of this video blog. What I'm about to tell you is the main part. After you have your goals planned, right, here comes the real part. You want to go through your day, and in the process of reaching towards those goals, in the process of doing those things, you have to keep in mind something, is that your life is literally ticking away. Okay, so right now it's what, Thursday night? Look back in your day today. If you're whatever you're watching this. Okay, you want to see my little bicep squeeze? Okay. Think back to your day. Another day is gone. For us, it's Thursday night, 11.30 p.m. now. Another day is gone. So in the process of reaching for your goals, 
you have to make sure that something stays present. And what is that? You. Good things are going to happen, bad things are going to happen. But you have to make sure that you arrive to your life and you experience it. Because when the end of your life comes, the only thing you want is more time. Did you know that? Anybody who's dying right now, if you went up to him and said, you're going to have to give every amount of money you have, we'll give you one more year to live. Everybody would take it. No, you all oh, fuck that. I'm not paying $2 million. That's all I have. I'm sorry. No, I'm going to die right now. You get what I'm saying? Everybody at the end of their life would give everything they have to have a little bit more time. And why do they want a little bit more time? <clears throat> so that they could end up enjoying their life a little bit more. Now they know what? Now they know something that we all should know every day. That they're dying. Now since I was a child, the idea of death has always been in my head. Many times I was told by my family, you should stop thinking about death. I was like, Jesus, if I could, I fucking would. But I can't. For a short amount of time in this life, I stopped thinking about it. And I remember, do you remember me telling you, Electra? Yeah. I was like, this is the first time in my life that I'm not thinking about death. And I was pretty happy. Yeah. It was probably like one of the happiest times I've been in my life. Remember that? I remember that. And then what happened? Well, the idea of death came back. Now the difference is between that time and this time. See, I want to think about death. I want to think about death. I don't ever want to forget that tomorrow morning I may not wake up. I don't ever want to forget that this may be the last time I'm doing a video blog. I don't want to forget that this may be the last time I'm sitting around people that I love. I spoke to my grandma tonight and I don't ever want to forget that that may be the last time that her and I speak. And why don't I, I mean it sounds very depressing, right? But it allows me, first of all, to get over small things that seem big to other people. So if you deal with me, my girlfriends deal with me all the time. I blow up sometimes, right? Sometimes I could have a little temper. Just go, ah, But if you could withstand my little heat for a short amount of time, who was that? Yeah. Was that you? Yeah. It like just went, hmm. <laughs> Why? Why did you do that? Speak up so they can hear you in a video blog. <clears throat> Why? Go quick. It's because, a video uh, because I know that if you can withstand your little heat, there's so much, like, greatness. You know what I mean? So that, No, I don't know what you mean. Tell them. What do you mean like, greatness? I don't know. I, I love being with you so much. And those little tiny things, like, even though they're, like, super intense, it's yeah. like, it's totally worth it, you know? Yes, but that's great. Thank you for that. But I'm saying, here's what I was going to say, and I thought that's what you acknowledged. But if you could withstand that little heat, wait two, three moments after that heat. And then, and then what happens? And then there's hell of love. Then there's hell of love. Mm -hmm. Because the expression comes, and then I quickly remember that that may be the last conversation I may have with this person, and I sure as fuck don't want to go to my grave with that conversation. I sure as fuck don't want that to be the last time I fucking say something to someone I love because something fucking happened. And I'm really happy that every time I close my eyes, I think about death. That every time I look at every single person, I think about them dying or me dying. That I don't know if I'm going to be alive tomorrow because that's what helps me get over shit really fucking fast. Do you understand that? That's what helps me live so hard. Now, if you're me, and you're not, but if you're going to do anything important in life, you're going to end up having haters in life. You know, we go over this a lot of times. This also helps me get over that, right? Because you know what? In the last moments of my life, do you know who I'm not thinking about? My haters. Do you know who I'm thinking about? My loved ones. I could give a fuck who hates me at the end of my life. I care about who loves me. You understand how that works? So we started this video blog with me talking about goals because you need to have direction because I see so much of the suffering that happens is that your mind, your mind has a lot of traps in it, okay? And it just, it, I mean, all it takes is a tiny little stimulus from the outside to fuck you up. It could be the wrong song. It could be a wrong look. It could be the wrong weather. Who the fuck, who knows what triggers you? But if you fucking trigger, then you're fucked for a while, right? So you prevent that by giving your mind a task to do because your mind is a problem solver. So it needs problems to solve. And if you don't give it problems to solve, it'll start to create problems for you. One. Two. As you go through your life, 
you pay attention to your life and you realize that death is knocking right around the corner. And although they told me my entire life that I should not think about it, I think it's very, very right for me to think about it and keep thinking about it and keep thinking about it because it'll help you overcome so many things. Okay, because in the final analysis, right, we all start here and we're heading to the grave. So what you do from here to there is going to mean a lot. You're not going to take anything with you. You understand? But the things that you do that affect other people in a positive way, they will take with them. And that is going to affect you and your karma the next time. It's no accident that some of us arrive at the same time as each other on this planet. I was born in 1977 in this life. Some of us arrive with a little bit more awareness, with a little bit more understanding. We go through the same world. We go through the same bullshit. We watch the same fucking TV shows. We read the same fucking books. We're subject to the same governments. We're subject to the same nonsense. But some of us arrive with a lot more understanding, a lot more compassion, a lot more care, a lot more wisdom. It has zero to do with our DNA. We all share the same goddamn fucking DNA. It has to do with everything I just told you from before. And if you keep doing what I'm telling you, eventually the time will collapse smaller and smaller and you'll be one of those children that comes and knows exactly what's happening. And that will be your last time in the trap. You understand? Very important to know. So, I hope you enjoyed the video blog. If you like it, share. Go to the channel and subscribe. I'm telling you, I'm coming out with shit that's going to blow you away. Okay? Amy's doing big nods over there. Amy, our executive assistant over there. Amy, we appreciate you. Thank you. I appreciate you having me here. Yeah, absolutely. I wish your blog was longer. You wish my blog was longer? <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. Okay, be the best. Fuck the rest. IMC Nation. Later.